Okay, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is going through my setup for the Position Trader EA. Um, so I'm just going to show you in this video how I have my uh, VPS or my trading PC set up and how I use the Position Trader EA to get into trades and let the EA take over on the trading PC or the VPS, whichever you want to use. Uh, so the Position Trader EA basically is a tool that will automate position trading strategies using RSI and ADR entries. And you can also use the trading buttons, which we have down here. So we've got a buy stop, sell stop, sell at market, and a buy at market button here as well, which will allow you to take a trade using any strategy you want with the Position Trader EA. There's been a little confusion about how uh, you should have this set up, though, um, so that the trades that you take with the buttons here will be automatically taken over, if you like, by the Position Trader EA, and it will then manage those positions for you. So the idea of this video is basically to show you my setup, how I have it working, and how I have intended this to be used. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to flick over to my VPS. Okay, Now, I don't use a, uh, a VPS, uh, a virtual personal server at all anymore. VPSs are basically just computers which are spun up on the web the, uh, they're just Windows installations that you can basically install MetaTrader on and just run as a normal Windows PC, except you connect to them via remote desktop. I have my own box sitting over here, which is basically an i5 uh, machine, and it's basically just a PC that is on 24-7, 365, sits in my office here, and it has my MetaTrader terminals installed on it, and it basically is its job is to sit there, monitor the market, and automatically take trades and take positions for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my VPS here. You can see it's called Trading PC. Okay, so here it is, opens up. So this is basically just, as I said, it's a Windows computer. It's just a normal PC, Windows PC, and it's got MetaTrader installed on it. So it's no different to the computer that you're going to use at home or in your office for just trading in general. So the way that I have this set up <clears throat> is as you can see here, I have every single Forex pair that I trade, which is all 28 pairs. Uh, and they're, they're set up on the terminal and just sitting here monitoring the market for me, all right? So they're all sitting on the 15 minute time frame in this case, because I'm using the 15 minute time frame to enter my trades. And I'll go through the settings that I have on my uh, terminal here so that you can see exactly how it's set up. So if I open the Position Trader EA settings, you can see that I have basically button trading only set to false. And personally, what I'm doing with the uh, EA on this VPS is on this account is I'm using RSI mean reversion strategy set to true and ADR set to false. So the idea behind this is I want it to automatically get me into really extended conditions with the relative strength index. I want it to risk a half a percent over one ADR. I'm going to scale into additional positions with 1.2 lot multiplier and I'm gonna scale in a minimum of three quarters of an ADR between my trades. I have a single trade target set at half a percent, i.e. if it gets into the market, enters a trade, and then the trade goes my way and it makes a half a percent profit, shut it out, brilliant, stick it in the bank. If it's a multi-trade, i.e. there's more than one trade in the position, I want you to close it out automatically for me if it hits 2%, okay? So 2% gain on my account that won't be used the vast majority of the time because anybody that comes into the live room will know that I set my targets manually, but that you can use as 1%, three quarters of a percent, whatever you want to do basically. So if it's in one trade, it will just take a half percent profit. If it needs to take more than one trade, it will take a 2% profit. I have drawdown, drawdown control set to true. So if any particular individual trade gets into 2% of drawdown, uh, it will close out a third of that position for me. So it's automatically going to start scaling out of those trades that go against us by a, a good distance. No aggressive drawdown control. And I have my RSI set to the 21 uh, median on the hourly, and I'm using an 80-20 trigger. The idea behind using this, uh, which is quite a wide extension on RSI, is that what I want to be doing is controlling my exposure. <clears throat> so anything that gets extended beyond 80 or 20 is a very, very big, strong move in the market. So I want to be in those regardless. I just want to be in them because the odds of those trades working is incredibly high. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking manual trades in the uh, terminal in my office, uh, and then I will let the EA take over. So what this is designed to do on my trading PC is sit here and 
it will monitor the market for any massively extended RSI conditions. That's all it's doing. It's sitting here and it's going, right, I'm going to sit here. If the RSI is not over 80 and not below 20, I'm going to do absolutely nothing unless these take in a trade. Okay. So that's how I have it set up. Every single pair just sitting there running on the 15 minute time frame, doing absolutely nothing, monitoring RSI, as you can see, and waiting for a trade to be taken. Okay, so that's my VPS. <clears throat> now, on my PC, the one that I use in the live room every day, this is my computer that I sit here in front of all day long and I just analyze the markets. So what this one is set up to do is it has the position trading EA on there, okay? And the settings you can see here are the same, all right? So everything that I've explained to you already uh, that I have set up on my VPS or my trading PC is the same. Yeah. So it's basically using the uh, 80, 20 RSI. Yeah. Although that is set to false in this case, because I don't want this to take any trades for me. Um, it's got drawdown control set to false because I don't want this to do any drawdown control for me. My exit targets are the same, although it's not going to use them. Okay. And I've got my additional trade entries set the same 1.2, 0 0.75 and half an ADR for the by risk. Okay. But none of this is going to do anything because I have button trading only set to true. So this terminal in my office has button trading set to true. So what it's going to do is it's going to do absolutely nothing, right? If there is a trade on, like you can see here on the US dollar CAD, okay, it will draw in for me my next short position line because the settings I have on this terminal are set the same as they are on the VPS or on the trading computer, whichever you're using. Okay. So it's distance between trades is uh, 0.75. My lot multiplier is set to 1.2, same as on my trading PC. So what this is doing is it's just visually showing me that the next trade will be at that level and the next lot size will be at 0.82, but it's not going to take any trades for me. Okay. On this particular PC, on this particular MT4 installation because it is monitoring button trading only, okay? So there's your US dollar CAD. If we switch over to the VPS again and go to the US dollar CAD, you can see exactly the same. Next short is gonna be at that level, 0.82 lots taken. So if the price pushes up here, this EA on my trading PC will scale in to that position for me, okay? This won't do anything because I've got button trading set to true and that disables all other functionality. It will not scale in. It will not do anything. It won't monitor RSI. It won't take new trades. It won't do drawdown control. It won't do anything. Literally, it's just waiting for me on this machine to press a button. Okay. So let's do that. Let's find an instrument that has got no trades on. You're in New Zealand. It's coming down quite nicely. Looks like a decent short. So let's take a short. I'm going to hit the sell market button there. And as you can see, it's taken a trade there at 0.51 lots. And the next short is going to be at 0.61, uh, just above ADR there. Okay. So let's switch over to the trading PC now and look at the Euro New Zealand. And as you can see on this machine, that trade is there. This is the same account, okay, that I'm trading with. It's my trading account. I'm logged in on my trading PC, my VPS, if you like to this trading account. I've logged in to the same trading account on the terminal on the machine that I'm using to analyze the market with here. And you can see that basically it's doing the same thing. It's going to take a next short at 0.61 lots when it's moved that distance away. It's exactly the same thing, right? Except this machine here, because it's on 24-7, 365, this is the PC, the trading PC over there, my VPS, that is going to be taking these trades for me, okay? This machine here, will do nothing. So if I flick over to the euro pound, which I've got a trade on, you can see that everything is there in place. I can see there's a trade or a couple of trades on where my average price is. The next lot is going to be there, the size, everything. So if it pushes up to here on this terminal here, nothing happens because it's in button trading only mode. It will just monitor those buttons, right? So that's how I have my setup. So my VPS, I have every pair open. And the idea is if there's a really big extended move in the market, it will automatically take a trade. It will automatically scale into the positions and it will do it what it's designed to do, make money. If there is a trade taken here on this terminal, on this PC that I use to analyze the market because I just fancy it because I like the look of it. Can't quite remember which one that was. Let me just quickly find out what that trade was. 
I've forgotten the pair. Um, uh, Euro New Zealand, right? There we go. So Euro New Zealand. So I've just taken that trade there. And now what's happening is I've taken a trade. Nothing's going to happen on this machine, but the VPS is now trading the Euro New Zealand short for me, and it will scale into that position as it sees fit. Okay. Now, if I close this position here by hitting this button, close. There we go. I'm out of that trade, that Euro New Zealand. We flick over now onto the VPS. Euro New Zealand is gone. Vanished because it's the same account. I've just got this terminal logged into that account and my own terminal. There we go. So that's basically my setup for the position trader EA. So hopefully that helps clarify how the button trading only mode works and how I utilize my VPS or my trading PC in my office to just basically take over the trades for me. So the idea behind the position trader EA is you do not have to use RSI extensions. You do not have to use ADR extensions to get into the market. If you want to use any other indicator or just pure price action, support and resistance, and you fancy taking a trade, you can hit that button and know that the VPS will take over for you and scale in, which means this machine can be turned off and does not have to be on 24-7. Okay, so hopefully that clarifies. Um, if you've got any questions, you can always find me in Discord or Telegram. And uh, yeah, good luck with the position trader EA.